Hey guys, Farmer Jesse here. Uh, I just got done putting up our winter squash. It's all in storage there. Uh, so I'm in celebration of that. I thought we could talk a little bit about acorn squash and uh, how to cook it and how to store it. And uh, I'm gonna give you a recipe that you guys can play with and tell me what you think. All right, let's do it. Acorn squash. So the deal with acorn squash is that it's not quite as sweet as, say, butternut squash or uh, pumpkins even. Uh, it's kind of a nuttier, drier, richer, sometimes starchier squash. Um, so I'm going to show you how to cut it, and all I'm going to do with it is roast it, and we're going to have it with some chicken and some ginger and a couple other things. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to cut it, though. Uh, a lot of people, the temptation is to just push straight through it. Um, you know, put your knife like this and push through it. Don't do that. The safest way to do it is actually do it like this. I have my knife straight up and down and the blade facing that direction. And so I'm going to push straight into it, sort of towards the uh, stem there. And then I'm going to turn it around go the other direction. And I say that's the safest way because you're cutting away from yourself and you're not putting any pressure here that may slam down and, and, and nick your fingers. So that's what you get on the inside and it's super pretty. I'm gonna scrape all these seeds out, stick it on a roasting pan. Yeah, and then I'm gonna roast it at 375 for about 30 or 45 minutes until um, I can stick a fork clean in it. And, uh, and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do with it. All right, before I forget, all you have to do to store your butternut squash, your acorn squash, your pumpkins, any of that, um, is find a nice cool spot for it. Uh, I kind of like to leave it by a breezy door because we have those. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you don't have to worry about it sprouting, so you don't have to put it in a dark place. Super simple, uh, and it'll last you for quite a while, as long as it doesn't get too warm or too cold. Alright, so that was delicious. Uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, also the like button, you can leave a comment. I'm happy to do more recipes, and I'm happy to hear your recipes. What do you guys do with acorn squash? I'd love to hear. Alright, well, we'll see you guys later.